So I'm going to show you today the four facial exercises that you have to do if you are over 40. So let's get started with our first one. We're going to bring our head gently back. We're going to bring our lips together and we're going to bring the tip of the tongue up and down towards the roof of the mouth at a rate of one per second. So you'll feel it working under here. Now keep going with this whilst I talk you through it. What this is doing is it's tightening up the area under the chin and at the top of the neck. You need to be doing this daily and you do this technique for about one minute per day and it really helps to keep this area tight and toned. So it doesn't matter if you're doing this at 40, which is what I am at the moment, or you're doing this in your 60s or 70s or 80s. Doing this every day will make a big difference. So keeping that going. Remember, if you have any neck issues, just go careful with it. You can adjust it if you need to. You don't want to bring your head too far back if you do have any neck problems. And that goes with face yoga in general. Always work to your own level. Let's do 10 more together. Okay, so bring yourself back down. And if you haven't already, apply a little bit of Fusion by Danielle Collins Pro-Lift Moisturizing Serum. This is so good to use, particularly if you are over 40. The molecules are small enough to get into the middle layer of skin where your dermis is, where your collagen and your elastin lies. And it's going to help to naturally plump the skin. It's also vegan, cruelty free, and it's organic as well. And there's only high performing botanical seed oils in there. And it won't clog your pores as well, which is so rare when it comes to a moisturizing serum. You can use it instead of your regular moisturizing moisturizer instead of your regular serum it's a one-stop shop and if you just want to use a couple of drops under your regular moisturizer if you really want to hold on to that you can do so our second technique we're going to take our fingers and we're just going to move them across the forehead this is encouraging our forehead area to stay super still then we're going to widen our eyes and with the edge of your fingers there just at the edge of the eyebrows I want you just to slightly lift a little bit so you're moving across keeping nice and still and slight lift open eyes wide you're going to be exercising the muscle that runs around the eye the orbicularis oculi muscle holding there widening and breathing inhale exhale and again inhale Keep widening the eyes, exhale, good. Just bring the hand gently down for a moment, relax that area. What we're doing with this technique is we're encouraging this frontalis muscle here to stay nice and still. What we tend to do in day-to-day -day life is raise the eyebrows a lot. And as we raise them, it creates those horizontal lines here. And as we get over 40, those lines become etched into the skin. And we often find it more difficult to reduce them. This is going to help to prevent those lines getting any deeper or prevent any forming if you don't have any already. But also it's going to help relax the muscles so it's softening that area. So it's almost like a natural form of Botox. I've never had Botox, but I do this technique every day. So we're smoothing across here, holding, widening the eyes, lifting the eyebrows up a little bit. Don't worry if you look a bit crazy with your eyes, it's all part of it. Keep widening. If you need to blink for a moment, you can, but then widen again. Breathe in, breathe out, and just relaxing back down. So we've done one for the neck. We've done one to smooth the forehead. We're now going to do one which is going to reduce puffiness under the eyes. Now we can be prone to this at any age and there are so many reasons why we get puffiness and dark circles underneath the eyes. But doing this technique is going to help to reduce and prevent. So very simple, we take our ring finger, we just come underneath the eyebrows, we go all the way around, nice and gently, and just keep that going. Now you don't want to drag the skin here. The skin under the eyes is about 10 times thinner than the skin in the rest of the face. So you want to do it really, really gently. That light touch 
aids the lymphatic drainage. It's like we're turning on a tap here, we're moving it round and we're draining and just keep that going. Now, ideally you do each of these techniques about one minute per day. And if you want to learn more one minute techniques and just have a reference that you can leave on your coffee table, on your bedside table, on your dressing table, in your handbag, you can use my books, Danielle Collins Face Yoga and the Face Yoga Journal. Both are worth having because they are both packed full of amazing natural techniques which help to really smooth the skin, lift the face and help your wellness too because the root of the Daniel Collins Face Yoga Method is feeling good. And if you want to help other people feel good, then I also offer a certified Face Yoga Teacher Training Programme. So let's just do a few more of those, nice and gently. Good, and just gently relax. So now we've done neck, forehead, eyes. Our final technique today is going to be lifting our cheek area. And this one in particular is very good for lifting the corners of the mouth, which can often get quite downturn as we age. So we're going to pull the lips in. And as you do this, lift the lip corners up. Now, if like me, as you do that, you start to see as you lift the lip corners up, little lines created here. We're going to use our fingers and we're going to smooth those lines. So go, keep lifting up, smooth the lines with the fingers. Let's hold now for a count of 20 together. Okay, relax, let's do one more time. Really feel the cheek muscles working the last five seconds. Keep lifting those lip corners up and slowly come back down and you are all done. Let's finish with a lovely deep breath in and a long deep breath out. Have a wonderful day. If you'd like more information on face yoga, head to faceyogaexpert.com.